Spark Media with another tutorial on how to install WordPress on a Mac with localhost. Now this is a great way to work on a WordPress site before you decide to pay for hosting. So just do your testing and work out the kinks on your localhost um, is an awesome way to go about it. So the two things we're going to need for this video is uh, first thing you're going to need is a text editor and I'll be using TextMate right down on here. And the second thing um, is our ZAMP control and if you do not have ZAMP I created a video yesterday on how to install it on Mac OS, S, OS X. So, uh, okay, if you don't have it, pause the video right now, go watch the video and install it. But for those who are ready, let's download WordPress. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser. I'm on uh, Chrome Canary, and we're going to type in WordPress. WordPress.org. Make sure it's WordPress.org and not .com. They are two completely different things. And it's going to show us the latest version, which is WordPress 3.4. And you can either click on it here or right here. It doesn't matter. It's going to take you to the same link. And let's download WordPress. It's going to show us the zip. Here it is down here. Give it a second. Good to go. Where's my downloads? Unzipping. Okay, so I'm going to pull it from my downloads and pull it to my desktop. It's not called WordPress-1, it's just uh, WordPress, but since I've downloaded it already a couple times a day, the directory doesn't know how to list it, so it's just throwing numbers out there. But there it is, WordPress, and it's not been tampered with. All the files are there, nothing's been configured, and that's what we want to do. So our next step is we want to open up our ZAMP control and turn on our Apache server. It's going to ask for our user password. That's fine, because I remembered it. And turn on your MySQL database. Don't worry about FTP. And go back to your browser. Now type localhost. Now that our server is up and running. And it will take us to our ZAMP control. So from here, we're going to go to PHP MyAdmin, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome MySQL application. And we're going to create a new database. Um, doesn't matter what it's called as long as you can remember it and I'm looking around my room right now and I see a fan I see a fan a wind fan so we're gonna title it fan create it and there it is database fan has been created perfect so now we can minimize this go back to our WordPress folder open it up let me open this up a little bit to give you guys a better view of what I'm doing and the one folder the one file that we're looking for is right here WP hyphen config hyphen samples so now we're going to open this up this is where I'm going to use my text editor I'm using TextMate let's open this up and don't worry about this information up here all this blue is just means it's been commented out this is what we're looking for our database name goes here and what we what we call it fan okay and our username by default it's root and unless you have changed it it is going to be root for you as well, and there is no password. I highly recommend leaving your your ZAMP default password and username just to root and uh, nothing because you're probably going to be the only one that's going to be on this, and you are not going to host your site on this. You're only going to use it to test, so to keep it simple, um, that's all we need. So we just need this information right here, fan, root, no password. We're already on localhost, and don't worry about these two other things. So now we're going to save it. But we're going to save it as something different. We're going to save it just as wp-config.php. Replace. Cancel this out. And where is our file? That should have worked. I have no idea why that did not work. I don't know if I'm paying my bills. We'll just try it again. Fan root nothing for a password. Save as there it is. Maybe it was there the whole time. I apologize about that. But that's the file we need, and that's all our information there. So we're going to close this out. We're all set, and what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our applications where we have XAMPP. Find your XAMPP folder. I, you could have it on your desktop. I, I just have it on my applications. It's by alphabetical order until you get to Adobe. I don't know why Adobe is not, all this Adobe stuff is not in 
alphabetic order. I don't care. Um, HT Docs is the folder that we are looking for. Drop your WordPress folder in there. Authenticate. Throw in your password. Okay, so our WordPress folder is now in our HT Docs folder. So now we can go back to our browser, see if it works. So we type in localhost. And the name of our WordPress folder is, in fact, WordPress. We hit enter. Okay, so if this page comes up, always allow. If this page comes up, that means our database configuration was, was um, correct. If there was something wrong on that, we have not have gotten to this page. We have not come this far. So for site title, we can name it anything. I'll call it practice. Never have your username as admin. I'll set it as CH, my password, I cannot tell you. It's one of those things where if I tell you, I have to kill you because it's my only password that I use. Set the password, my email, villageparkmedia.com, and always keep this checked off. Allow search engines to index this site. I have no reason why I would never want people to um, be able not to search for me. Um, yeah, install WordPress. Okay, click log in and our password, always allow. Click log in. And here you go, you are now on the back end of your site. If you wanna to go to the front end, just go up to, never for this, go up to practice, visit site. I'm gonna command click, open it up in a new tab. And here's my front end. So here's your template and you're on your server. So uh, good luck and if you have any questions, feel free to comment or uh, ask me questions on my YouTube blog and I'll be, I'll be sure to get back to you. All right guys, thanks for your time.